Those are Kirk's legs. Sorry. What's up guys? Welcome back to Cabler's Vlog. Today, we're working on the black cobalt, which he is currently underneath. Y'all want to see something cool? Check out this transmission mount. See that chain? I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, that's a chain that's not even connected. <laughs> I put 5,000 miles on this with this like this. <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> oh my God. But anyway, so we're taking off the uh, downpipe here. And uh, I know my big butt's kind of in the way, and I'll show y'all. So, for anybody, you know, that needs to know things about cobalts, by the way, this is going to be a video for you, just an FYI. So yes, you see that uh, downpipe, you see the manifold, and you see how disgusting that looks because uh, we tried some ghetto stuff. Don't go ghetto, do it right. Anyways, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> so that's coming off. Maybe the manifold, it's got aftermarket manifold on it, and I hate it because it, I think it's warped here, and it's just causing issues. But yeah, so we're taking off that, and then we're taking off the rest of the downpipe. So it's these two bolts over here. The three bolts up there, and uh, yeah, we're gonna install the new one. There's some oil just ready to drop on me. <laughs> oh god, my car's never leaked oil, so that's confusing. Oh yeah, and then there's more. Work what? There. You could. He also has to think his car is up on um, ramps at the moment, and so uh, <laughs> oil. His <laughs> car's up on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, ramps. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> His car's up on ramps at the moment, so maybe that could be a reason for the uh, random oil that's. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the new pipe from ZZP that we are going to be installing today. Time to go grab tools. Bye car. Yeah, so today we're not doing anything crazy. We're just working on a car. Some DIY stuff. We're not going anywhere. We haven't gone anywhere. We're just uh, working on the Cobo. Let's get to it. What's going on over here? Yeah, somebody bought them down on this thing. Yeah. Wasn't me. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's not good. So, one thing, if you get started, you drive back to those two bolts. Oh, you want me to do those? Yeah, you can get those done. Or, ow! <laughs> my God! This is so bad. 15, 17. We'll try those two. So I'm going for these two. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus, but uh. Yeah, it's the just... rear catalytic converter flange gaskets. If you want to know how to take them off, you literally take those two bolts out. Literally. And then what I'm doing is I'm um, taking off the three that go to the header to the downpipe and boom this whole piece will drop out remember to take off your O2 sensors by the way one there the other one's on the manifold but I'm not taking off the manifold at the moment try 15 yeah please that. Oh yeah, and for safety people uh -huh. who get really mad when other people aren't doing what they're you know, supposed to be doing Sorry, we're not wearing gloves or safety. I mean, I have glasses. Do you have glasses on? I have glasses on. Hey, yeah. we're wearing eye protection. Yay. Always key. That's why I like being blind. <laughs> Wait, let me stop it. Don't take it. All right, let's see if it'll take it off. I think it's just going to take it off the other time. Um, before you take that other one off, I'll just uh, finish it off. I'll try this one. All right. Okay. Modified. Fit. It fits. It does fit? Yeah, 7 8 fits. You want to talk about modified because I was too lazy and didn't want to spend the money. That one's modified. <laughs> I made it go a tiny bit bigger. So now you can label it a 22. Alright, I really feel like, yeah. Two hours later. Oh, okay. It's gone. It's out. It's hey, 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 put your finger in there. No. Come on, get on there. Oh, what? Is it really bigger? Dude, it's, it's bigger than a 16. Well, oh, you have a 17 wrench over there? Uh, where 17. did you put the 17 wrench? I put it back. <laughs> I always put my tools back. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be careful. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stay organized, put your tools back. Thank you. I'm gonna come underneath the car and take a nap. I'm gonna come underneath the car and take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap right here. I'm gonna take a nap. That pipe's free. Hey, look, gasket. You need the gasket? Yes. Okay, we're keeping Always the gasket. Always replace the gaskets. Always replace it. I'm poor. But we're poor, so we're keeping this one. And maybe, just maybe, it'll work. Time for some investigation. So the major problem we were having with this car was the exhaust leak. What? There's part of the catalytic converter right there. Wow. The cat ate itself. No, I'm gonna grab that light from your car. <laughs> is it dead? Did somebody leave it on? This is my badass flashlight, and it's dead. Not sponsored, just bored. We're gonna cut it open, see what's wrong with it completely, go from there. Make sure it is. Because uh, that came out of it. <laughs> After it. Minus ate. the cut, that's me. Wow. Jesus. Think she's a little clogged? Honestly, guys, that's crazy, in my opinion. Either way, if you guys are doing the same thing, if you guys are doing anything on your car, just make sure you guys are being safe about it. I know we're not. Don't follow what we do. We're just, I'm just, a bunch of disclaimers throughout the video. I love how you can just bend that until it breaks. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's a nose he Not from his car. From, from a Dodge car. Caliber. Why you ask? Because there's two holes. We gotta plug that hole, so that's a plug, and that's gonna be where the OSU sensor goes. <laughs> oh man, that's. Awesome. I don't really know how to tell you how to do that one right. Good luck. Welcome back to another Under the Car vlog. Today we're learning how to do exhaust. Are you ready? Because I'm not. I had to go put some. The right thing to do when putting on the O2 sensors would be to disconnect this wire where it connects. I don't feel like it. Starting it? Start it up. Alright. I'll stay under here and listen to the leaks. Got it? Yep. I'm underneath the car. Over through. Three. I should have had the camera, but he gassed it. My car actually has a noise to it. It doesn't sound like garbage. Um, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a four banger. But uh, it's actually got a lower ground to it. It never sounded like that. check for leaks and I just put my hands up where the gaskets are and where the O2 sensors are and just see if I can feel air. So uh, don't That's mind next. the door. This is next. Yeah, more to come. I guess we'll see what she sounds like. Right? I'm worried. Like it sounds decent right now. But my I wife sent me a text and she's like, nice ricer. <laughs> It's weird to hear my car. Like, no one has any idea how weird it is. Because it's always a leak. You always heard a leak for like, how long have I had this car? Two months? Yeah, no, two, couple two, months. months now. And it was always a leak you heard. Now to actually hear it, it's really weird. It's definitely right, terrific, baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's got some rasp. I 
think I genuinely think it is definitely ricer definitely ricer like I can't explain that enough right now that thing does not I mean it sounds okay like if we're inside the car it doesn't sound too bad the idle sounds okay it's just raspy definitely raspy Alright, so now the exhaust is done on this car, now we can move on to taking parts off of this car, like the carpet and dash pieces, dash pieces and some panel. plastics and stuff, any the door panel, any buy. of the broken pieces we find on this car is going to be replaced from this one. So we're getting also that done today, so let's jump into it. Alright guys, so of course when you're moving carpet in a vehicle, of course you want to take all the internal plastics out, you want to take the seats out, which we've already got the seat out. So we're going to take the internal plastics off, take all of this off. Yeah, we have to take this back seat off. All it is, it's a 15 millimeter socket. With the seat wing forward, you can easily do it. One. Well, this one's more of a butt, but... Of course, if you're not trying to break anything, you'd want to grab a ratchet wrench and do that way. Just like I got here. Maybe even a smaller socket, but this will work. Get that all nice and loose. Persuasion. She's out. Seats are normally always really easy in cars. Normally it's just two bolts and uh, hooks up front, and then you just tip it forward, back it out, and take it out. Another thing to remember on the bottom of your seats, whether it's going to be passenger or driver, you'll have connectors for your seat belt, other things like airbags and whatnot, weight sensors, all that fun stuff is in your seat. So remember that. I believe the next thing that I'm going to do is this rear bench seat. So I believe on these bench seats, all you have to do. Let's push really hard inward and then lift up just like that. You got it. Oh, you got change for days in here, bro. We're gonna become rich. Hey, yeah, we find a million dollars in here. Look at all this. Man, I can go back to McDonald's and buy me another drink. We got a house key. <laughs> Jesus, quarters for days. All, like all right, next thing to do, all these plastics gotta come out. Center one just pops out. Just pop out, so. Uh, it just pops out. This one though, when you're taking it out, you gotta watch out for these connections. It's probably gonna sound like you're breaking stuff, but keep in mind, clips, well, they can break, but will they break? Sometimes they sometimes. do, sometimes they don't. All right, so once you got all those plastics off, they're talking out there, that's okay. There's these little tiny screws all the way around. Just wanna grab yourself a seven millimeter socket, go at it. Just like that with all those out. This whole center thing, plastic piece, comes right out. Time to take out the carpet. All right, so there was some plastic pieces that ran along this door side on both sides. Take those out, they just pop out. Honestly, just pull on them, they'll come right out. And then you just pretty much lift up on the carpet, drag it around, pull it out. He's doing that car as I'm going through this car, but I don't want to get ahead of myself, but we're doing the Torx bolts on the seat belts to take the rest of the carpet out. Grab a T50 with a ratchet wrench, break them loose. They have red Loctite. It's gonna be really hard with just a drill to get them out. Once you break it loose, grab your drill. Comes out the rest of the way. Carpet is now out. Check this out. Completely, hey look, a nickel. You guys want a nickel? Here, you guys can have a nickel. So, transferring over to one vehicle to another, boom. That one's in place, just insulation for noise and all that fun stuff. Hey, there's chains in this one too. Anyway, those are now in place. We can probably get ready to, uh, we gotta take out plastics in this one now. Yep. All right, little update. There's Kevin. It's yeah. my turn to hold the camera. So I we just okay. installed the door panel onto the drivable cobalt. Took off the dash pieces up there. You remember how all this was black? Just looking naked. Remember how all that all was black? All this was like a black color. We switched it. We swapped it. Switched, swapped, swapped that. It. Went ahead and added the new dash piece so my car doesn't look like I've stolen it. I know I said we're going to update you guys when we put the carpet in. We got sidetracked. Carpet's still not in yet. We did dash and door pieces first. We want to do something different. We'll get the carpet here in a second. Carpet's going to happen here in just a second. Just like that, we got the carpet in a car. We just got to vacuum all of it out before we put the seats and stuff back in. So it'll be put back together properly and clean. This one, on the other hand, like we said, 
you guys want it, $200. It's got no motor, no trans. Uh, it's missing a lot of pieces, of course. It's just a pretty much a rolling chassis at this point. Um, it's not coming with those wheels. It's probably just going to be donuts, rolling chassis. Anyway, carpet's out of here. Carpet's in here. Finally got a door panel. Everything's looking like a cobalt. It's looking good. It's looking good. We just got to put the back seat in and vacuum this out. Sorry if it's a long video, but got to get stuff done. And this car is turning out perfectly fine guys want more content just remember subscribe just like that the car's done the car's got carpet the car's got nice seats it's got nice you know stock it's stock interior but it's honestly better looking than the old one he's got a dash piece now so it doesn't look like he stole his car <laughs> like this thing is it's coming together it's really really coming together i just gotta fix the dent on that that's all we gotta fix now after that she's in the it'll literally just be like that one was just like that today's vlog DIY vlog. It was interesting. It was fun. We're dirty. We did it ourselves. The car looks great. It's over. We gotta end it. If you really enjoyed it, you really liked it, don't forget to push that like button, hit that subscribe button, but comment down below. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you guys in the next one.